Becky Lynch goes a little long, so they send out the next match. No objections for me because Monday Night Raw was pretty awesome tonight. Hello everyone, Chris Young here from Wrestling Bites Podcast, where you can find us on Spotify or anywhere you listen to your favorite podcast, or following the link in the bio, giving you my quick hits on Monday Night Raw. We start the show with Miss TV. Paul Heyman is his guest. Paul Heyman announces that if Riddle cannot beat Roman Reigns, he will not get a rematch. Out comes Riddle, out come the Osos, and out comes the Street Profits. Montez Ford is wrestling Jimmy Uso. They join this in progress, which I guess is okay, and they have a pretty good match. Jimmy Uso gets the victory, and it was surprisingly clean. Seth Rollins is interviewed in the back, and he has no remorse for attacking Cody. We think we're going to get a rematch between Becky Lynch and Dana Brooke for the 24-7 title, but Becky just beats the crap out of Dana. Eventually, Ashka comes out, and now Ashka and Becky are brawling, Becky retreats to the back, and they send out Alexa Bliss to start the next segment. Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss are teaming up to take on Nikki S.H. and Dewdrop. This is a qualifying match for the Money in the Bank ladder match. Now, ultimately, they do have a pretty good match, and it is Alexa and Liv who get the victory. We get the rematch between Ezekiel and Kevin Owens, and they have a pretty darn good match. Kevin Owens gets distracted by the commentators and eventually gets counted out. And Ezekiel announces that Elias will be here next week in concert. Hmm. MVP comes out and talks. MVP is now wrestling Cedric Alexander, and he makes quick work of him. AJ Styles cuts a promo. Seth Rollins cuts a promo. And now Seth and AJ are wrestling. This is actually a really good match. We joined it in progress, but that didn't really hurt it at all. Seth does get the victory. Riddle is now wrestling Champa. Champa doesn't get an entrance, so you kind of know where this is going. And Miz is on commentary. He doesn't add too much. This match is pretty good. Riddle does get the victory. We need to make him look like he can beat Roman Reigns, you know. Bianca Belair is in the ring being interviewed talking about her match with Rhea Ripley, and she's really running down Rhea Ripley when Judgment Day appears on the big screen, and they start talking about how awesome Judgment Day is. Theory is interviewed in the back. Chad Gable is taking on Mustafa Ali. The crowd was extremely flat for this match. No reactions from anybody. That's not good. This was actually a really, really good match. Chad Gable gets the victory. In the main event, Veer Mahan is taking on Rey Mysterio. Man, I love Rey. This was a great, great, great match. Ultimately, though, Veer does get the victory. And we end Raw with the pose down between Lashley and Theory. And it ends just like you think it would. Theory's beating up Lashley. Overall, Raw, great episode. Check it out.